So much culture today. <laughs> this Alinity girl, she just has no idea the impact that she's having both on her reputation and on Felix's reputation. This bitch called me out my pockets. Let me tell you how these Instagram videos of her calling me, me personally, broke as fuck, I can't afford nothing, you didn't spend 2,500 racks on something, blah, 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 blah. This bitch is delivering these lines with so much passion, okay? This shit gotta be real. Just mouthing off and shit, I'm just like, yo, get the little bitch too. Bad and bad. Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that there is new merch available and you guys can find those links down in the description section. Also, consider subscribing to my Patreon. It helps me make bigger and better videos way more often for you guys. So please check that out. What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Jay Sama and today, yo, there's a there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on right now and uh, y your boy trying to talk about quite a bit of it. I was gonna make... I was gonna try to make separate videos for everything, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do such a thing. So, uh, welcome to Canon Culture, ladies and gentlemen, the show where we do some entertainment commentary, and I, I give my thoughts, opinions, and, you know, just give some general knowledge on whatever it is that it is that I'm talking about, and maybe give a life lesson at the end of today's episode, if we get around to it. Um, so, on this week's episode, well, uh, today's episode, because we have plenty this week, we gonna talk about several subjects. Now, I wanted to talk about Lil Tay, I also wanted to talk about uh, this Breakfast Club thing, and if you guys can't tell by now, I watch The Breakfast Club almost every day. Um, and I also wanted to talk about this Alinity situation with PewDiePie. So I don't know where it is that I want to start. Mm. Let's start with Lil Tay, all right? <laughs> now. There's, there just seems to, um, if you guys can't tell, I'm actually really excited to talk about all this shit today. Like, I'm so excited, and I've had three cups of coffee today, so I'm so excited that I just can't, I just can't put together all the shit that I want to talk about. So, alright, let's dive into little tape. First of all, this little bit, ooh, bit, ooh, broad, let me tell you, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the little tape situation. I'm not a little fan of this broken condom type situation, okay? I'm not a fan of not being pro-choice and just getting it out the way, all right? Listen, Mama Tay, I'ma need to talk to you for a minute. How you let a man bust up in you like this? How you let a man just disrespect your club like this? How you let somebody disrespect your life like this, okay? Mama Tay, I'ma tell you right now. This is what we not for the fucking do. You niggas is not gonna tell me that this entire situation is not planned, scripted, and just, it, it's 2018. It only took 15 sec seasons of the Kardashians to really understand, hey, maybe we could take this scripted shit and put it on the internet, okay? It only took 15 seasons to finally get up on that Kris Jenner level, which by the way, nobody's on that Kris Jenner level. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the whole situation is fake, okay? I wanna tell y'all right now, Lil Tay popping off at the mouth, Lil Tay doing all, all this crazy shit on the, first of all, let me just get this out of the way. Fuck that little bitch. I don't give a damn about this little girl, okay? Let me tell you how I don't give a fuck about this little bitch because she called me broke. Fuck your punk ass, I don't give a shit. This bitch called me out my pockets, which I don't appreciate. So you can go fuck your little Instagram thotty ass, okay? Get the fuck out of here, all right? So now, now that we got that out of the way, so y'all know how I feel about the situation exactly. When we seen uh, Danielle Brigoli, because I refuse to call her by her rap name, because I just think it's a horrible fucking rap name, and she squared up with Whoa Vicky, I'm like, yo, Beat this country bitch ass though. <laughs> so, and then when you see this little, little Asian girl just mouthing off and shit, I'm just like, yo, get the little bitch too. <laughs> I'm just really looking forward to Danielle just going off on these motherfuckers because I, I genuinely believe that rather Danielle is faking it or not, 
uh, I don't know what this girl is like, but she seems she's about that life. Like, I see what them French tip nails do, okay? I didn't see what her popping off at the mouth does. So, Danielle, square up with the bitch, all right? You need to, you need to kick her ass like a fucking field goal football, all right? You need to shoot that shot. All right, I'm trying to see that happen. When you like to mouth off with, with uh, you know, people who are much bigger than you, you cannot control the reaction of other people. That's what I want to let y'all know, that some people are about that action. It's almost like when women like to mouth off at men or like swing on men and shit like that. Oh, he ain't going to do nothing. No man's going to hit a woman. Best believe it's some niggas out here that's about that action. Okay, I'm telling you, not every man is about that shit. Cause I prop, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it takes a lot for me to put hands on a woman. Okay, I'm not saying I condone it. I'm not saying I do it, but I'm saying, yo, in the right context, I'll beat a bitch ass if I need to. Especially if she a she hulk looking ass. Oh, best believe I'm going off on your ass. Best believe. When you put in the right context in certain situations and just you're tweaked to a certain number, to a certain degree, certain temperature of the day, anybody can get it. So I, I, I think Danielle needs to square up with uh, both of these chicks regardless of what the law says. Um, because I quite frankly don't give a damn because it's, it's not my life at Jeopardy. But um, yeah, that's where we're gonna start. And then we're gonna lead up to how this apparent situation with Lil Tay is fake and she's being coached by her older brother. Let me tell you how this is some bullshit. First of all, I can tell straight through either this little girl is a really good actor, which I don't believe that she is because according to this leaked footage of her being coached by her older brother, let me tell you how these Instagram videos of her calling me, me personally, broke as fuck, I can't afford nothing, you didn't spend 2,500 racks on something, blah, 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 blah. This bitch is delivering these lines with so much passion, okay? This shit gotta be real. This bitch, oh no, there is absolutely no way. Why am I yelling this whole video? There is absolutely no way you can tell me that this little broad is lying. There is absolutely no way you can tell me that. So, number one, you're lying about being rich. You're lying about stunting on niggas. You're lying or just, uh, just about in general, just everything you doing. Lil Tay is not balling. Lil Tay is not buying out here buying cars and shit. I assure you that right now. And also, you're lying about lying about that shit. So if you really think I'm gonna believe that your older brother is coaching you with such volition that you're just going off of script? Bitch, why you lying to me? You really think I'm that dumb? You really think the internet is that dumb? Like, you're faking about being fake? Cause the lies that your brother are delivering you in this leaked video, uh, no. There, there just is no, there is no amount of like, the, the, the consistency of passion just don't even match, all right? Your volition when you calling me broke on your Instagram videos, is completely different than the amount of energy that you would put in in this leaked footage. And so to anybody defending either of these points, you are probably scum of the earth. I just wanna let you know, okay? So now when I watch people go at her and like people in mainstream media go at her and like her about being a clout chaser, yes, she's part of the clout chasing generation, which a lot of us really are. We just do different versions of it, okay? Me, I chase clout for the culture okay Lil Tay chases clout for whatever the fuck she's doing and then when she had that massive breakdown last week and she was like I'm just trying to achieve my dream and you guys are bullying me and I'm nine years old bitch fuck you you called me broke Okay, fuck you, you insulted my mother, you insulted my aunt, you insulted all my other fellow broke niggas. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't got no sympathy for your punk ass whatso fucking ever. All right, so I hope some, some other nine year old, I hope a 10 year old Asian boy runs up on your shit and just clocks you the fuck out because I have absolutely no sympathy for you whatsoever. I don't care that your mother lost her job. I don't care that, oh, Ali's calling me. What's up, girl? Hey, um, are you gonna meet up with us? Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't give a damn about what the fuck is going on with Lil Tay. And let me tell y'all right now, like, this situation that is popping off, I don't want anybody to get it misconstrued. This little girl 
is just doing what she's supposed to do. Like, she's just doing what she does at this point. And at nine years old, I'm pretty sure it's not like, it's not like English is a second language for her, clearly, but you know what the fuck you saying. You know what the fuck broke means. You know what the fuck bitch means. You know what the fuck all these, you know what the fuck a lot of shit that you saying is, okay? I, I, do, I don't want it to make it seem like, oh, well, she's just a little girl. She's, you know, she's being scripted and stuff. You speak English, bitch. You know the you know the words that you're saying right now. You read the comments clearly, so you know people are hating on you. You know this is a thing. It's not like you're just this little robot that people are programming. Like you're a human being who has a somewhat of a comprehension of the things that you are saying. Oh, by the way, if you guys have any uh, comments, questions, concerns, anything that you want to talk about, Lil Tay related, please down in the comment section. I want to have this conversation with y'all. So now we're gonna segue over to. The fact that nobody on The Breakfast Club understands the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek. And now, I'm not gonna hop on this because obviously I'm, I'm, I'm kind of versed in some type of nerd culture, I would say. Um, there's nothing wrong with not knowing which one is which, honestly. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't want anybody to think that there's anything wrong with it because all it really is is just the fandom in which you, re you reside. So, Star Wars, intergalactic uh, space battles, lightsabers, that's pretty much the difference. Star Trek, intergalactic politics, nonsensical adventures that just happen. I, I mean, honestly, I've seen quite a few Star Wars films. I've seen almost every single one except for the last two. So really the point that I wanna get down to is there was a question asked, is Donald Glover big enough of a star for, for people who have not seen a Star Wars film or who are not into Star Wars to go see one? And my answer, no. Absolutely not. I mean, yes, Donald Glover is big enough of a star to support him, but I don't want to support the rest of this cast. I mean, Amelia Clark, yeah, I want to, I want to like give my money to support her, but the rest of this cast, I don't want Disney to receive money to think that Solo was a good project. Like, it's not. It looks boring. It looks stupid. I'm absolutely not going to support this. Now, if there's a Lando movie. If there's a Lando movie though, I will gladly go and spend my money to support that because I want to support Donald Glover as an artist, as an actor, and as a person. So that's who I want to support. I don't care for Han Solo. I don't care for Han Solo's backstory. I don't care for any of that whatsoever. He's a cool character. Let's not get it twisted. I love Han Solo. I don't want to make it seem like I don't like him, but I do want to let you know the way to keep a character cool is to not explain how they became cool. Because you know what? That's not cool. I don't want to see this character's backstory. I just want his legacy of being, oh, that's a cool badass character. I want him to stay cool and badass. I don't want to see the transition at all, any way, shape or form. So to anybody who doesn't know the difference between Star Trek and Star Wars, you're not missing out on anything. You really aren't, especially at this day and age. Now, if you would have caught me like, five, six years ago, and you would have been like, do I need to see Star Wars? Ah, if you like action movies, you might wanna check it out. I mean, the lore is dope, uh, you know, the world building is dope, the characters are dope, but going into Star Wars now, they don't have none of the cool shit that the previous Star Wars movies had, and I'm somebody who actually likes the prequels just because I like the world building. The fact that there's these so space sword battles going on. Okay, I'm trying to dumb it down as much as possible. Space sword battles going on, right? And then there's all this government sh back order shit that's happening that's really fucking dope to watch. That type of shit I like. Like Star Wars, The Clone Wars, both the movie and the series, like on Netflix, you can catch it. And it was on Cartoon Network years ago. Like that is dope because I like to watch when they take the main characters out and all the backstory characters are interesting. Like, that's what makes Star Wars cool to me. I don't know that much about Star Trek in order to speak on it like that, so maybe somebody can inform me why Star Trek is so good. But I think Star Trek in general, like the idea of Star Trek and the world building is dope because I've done like a little bit of research, or a little bit of research so that way I could have some information for this video. Obviously not enough to uh, convey the rest of the video, which is why this is the shortest segment on today's on today's show. So, uh, you know what? Let me know your your thoughts and all that other stuff 
down in the comment section below. And now I want to keep this really short so that way we don't spend too much time on today's episode. This Alinity PewDiePie situation. Now I'm going to include two videos down below which are, are which should kind of stem you to watch everybody's video because really it's like five or six videos that you got to watch to be caught up on all of this bullshit which to be honest it is bullshit and it's almost like why the fuck are we talking about this? But essentially, these are the basics. PewDiePie put out a video today called Ban PewDiePie, which gives a general rundown of all the shit that happened between him and this thought streamer, because that's what the fuck I'm gonna call her. Because the level of disrespect that this bitch has for the craft is just disgusting. Um, I can't, I can't, I'm, I, let me tell you right now. First of all, Alinity, I'm not nine years old. I'm a grown ass man. What the fuck you're doing? You know what the fuck you're doing. This shit is disgusting and it's disrespectful to the platform that is Twitch and YouTube content creation. It just really is. If you don't feel that way or you don't see it that way, bitch, fuck off. To be honest with you, it just really disgusts me the level of shit that you do. Now, with that being said, I also respect your craft and the ability to use your tits for views. I don't have tits, I can't use them for views, but if you want to do that, please, I respect that you want to do that, I respect that that's how you chase your clout, okay? Do what the fuck you gotta do to get this shmoney, girl. Second of all, I would also like to say, uh, to people responding all crazy to Philip DeFranco for trying to jump in between this, just reporting on the fucking news, some of y'all niggas is just wild as fuck, honestly. You're just fucking wild. And it's beyond me how people could even think when watching the full context of his Thursday video, which is last Thursday, not this Thursday, okay? Last Thursday being the 17th, okay? His video that he put out, you can clearly tell there's a level of sarcasm in his voice. If not, you're clearly not looking for it. You clearly don't know anything about Philip DeFranco when he goes on some of these tangents and, and things like that. So I understood the message that he was trying to convey. But really the whole purpose of this portion, because I need to make a separate video about this. Like one episode of Canon Culture is not going to do it justice. What type of dumbass do you take me for to really think that this chick is not like abusing the uh like like collab drm like there the amount of bullshit that is in this entire scenario is just like why y'all coming at pewdiepie like this why y'all disrespecting my man felix i don't understand and now i wasn't a fan of pewdiepie until mm, late 2016 maybe maybe summer 2016 and really, I don't know what kind of made the shift for me, but then when he's just started talking about real shit, just shit that bothers him, I then became a fan of PewDiePie. When he stopped playing games, that's when I became a fan of PewDiePie. Because best believe, I used to be one of those hater ass people that was just like, oh, all he does is scream in his videos. Then I looked up at it and I was like, all I do is scream in my videos. <laughs> so really, you can see that there was some type of connection, but really, this Alinity girl, she just has no idea the impact that she's having both on her reputation and on Felix's reputation because this man here, he has no ill will towards anybody. If you've watched more than three PewDiePie videos, you get a sense of this guy's just trying to be funny. This guy's just trying to entertain people. Like he's really just doing the most because that's what the fuck we call it he is not malicious in any way shape or form that's why if he calls somebody like nigger on stream let me tell you how i don't give a fuck you know you're not supposed to be using that fucking word though you don't have the exact pigment fam you don't have enough melanin to process this word i'm sorry but you don't it's just a word that you're not supposed to fucking say white people okay you're not allowed to say it I don't care that there's a double standard. I don't care that we call each other that. You are not supposed to fucking say it. What is your fascinate white people? Let me ask y'all a question. What is your fascination with wanting to say this word so bad? Why is it that you are fighting so hard to say this word? I'm just, I just don't understand. Y'all will, some of you motherfuckers will bend over backwards three or four times over to try and, and just create an argument so you can say this word. I don't understand. What's the fascination with it? Why are you so fascinated by it? Is it because you're not allowed to? Is that what really it is? Is like y'all just, re it's so taboo that y'all wanna get into it because I'm just really confused by you wanting to do this. Like there are just certain things that I don't say that I'm allowed to say that I just don't want to. Like it's just not in my vocabulary. Like I just don't understand why you wanna say a word that is potentially not even is let's go with let's let's go for a reach here could be potentially 
offensive to certain people. Why do you want to say it? Why? What's your fashion next? Just why? 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 I'm confused. So with that being said, that's all I really got to get into. There's like so many things I would like to talk about this video. And that's that's just me going in on the N-word portion. I'm not even going in on alidity. I haven't even begun to go in on the little Tay thing. Like, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. With it, anyway, with that being said, this has been your boy Jay Sama. Make sure to give today's video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon. Oh, <laughs>